Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and in today's video we are going to be talking about Mother's Day ideas to make and sell with your Cricut. Now I will be putting pictures of like examples of things that I personally have made and sold and have made a good profit off of these past few years that I've had my Cricut and if it's anything that I personally didn't make I will make sure to include the seller's Etsy shops. I love supporting small businesses so I really love including other Etsy shops in my videos that that way if it's not something that you particularly make but it's something you're interested in you can check their shop out and purchase from them like I have done in the past so let's get right into these Mother's Day ideas one of my biggest sellers for Mother's Day is these shirts and I was selling these a couple years ago when I first got my Cricut and let me tell you I made so much money this paid off my Cricut the easy press everything so quickly I was getting orders like crazy and I also did it for Father's Day so it's really versatile I have a tutorial specifically on how to do this if you are a beginner and I will link any tutorials of things that I have made for these videos down below if you want to check them out but this was a great seller along with shirts you can do sweaters and i've seen mother's day socks as well that are super popular so those are the couple of like clothing items that i would really suggest that you try and just see how it goes the next one that i sold last year that sold really really well were these mother's day mugs and i made them for father's day as well like i said both of them and these sold so well i made a lot of money off of these and they were really easy and cheap to make so Another one that I highly recommend you do, I just used permanent vinyl and it went really well. Along with mugs, you could make tumblers or those Starbucks cold cups or hot cups. I have sold a few of those this year. This is the first year that I've been selling those specific ones, so I can't say much on how it did in my area previously, but so far I have sold a good amount and we're not even close to Mother's Day. At the time I'm filming this, it is the beginning of March. So we still have a little bit of ways to go until Mother's Day and I'm interested to see how well they do this year. The next really popular one I have seen are the Mother's Day Subway Tiles. I have a tutorial specifically on this as well if you're interested, but essentially it is these tiles that you get from the hardware store or you can use anything. Um, you can do like a wood sign or whatever version you want and putting the name like mom or grandma or mama, whatever, and then you put the children's names underneath and it is so cute. And then I personally just bought these little picture frame stands and put them in there and these have been going really great for me already. I'm seeing them all over the crafting groups as well. So it's definitely a really popular one for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and I've also seen them for graduation a lot. So people would say like grad 2021, and having the subway tiles as well and again another thing that's really easy to make and really cheap but has a good profit and like turnaround we do have the shadow box picture frames and they're with like the rolled flowers they're so beautiful you can put a quote on there you can put the mom with the names as you can tell i really like putting mom with the kids names and this specific one that i made this mama had a lot of kiddos so i did include that in there but this one was a lot of fun it did take many hours because of the flowers and everything and again for this one i do have a tutorial for any beginners that are interested in like how the heck do you even do the flowers with a free template as well so i'll leave it all linked down below but this one was super cute and the person that i gave it to absolutely adored it so i can't wait to make more of these but i definitely needed more time if you don't know i'm actually overdue with this baby they were due last week they're still not here and i don't really have the time to spend hours on these shadow box frames but they are absolutely beautiful and i really enjoyed doing the project Similar to the tiles, you could make wood signs. I have made these in the past, but unfortunately I don't have a picture of one that I've made. I made one for my daughter's Oma and she has a couple grandkids. So we did make one with like the pictures of the grandkids and it was just something that I stained and painted. Along with that, you could make wreaths or like wall decor that you could give to your mama or to really anyone. Um, I know personally, I would absolutely love if someone made me like a welcome sign or or like a family name sign with like our last name on there and all I just love stuff like that I'm very sentimental like that so that would be absolutely adorable a reverse canvas or just a canvas in general with a cute quote now you could do it with like a stencil vinyl or you could literally just put vinyl I've done canvases with just vinyl and then I personally put Mod Podge over top especially if it's going in like the bathroom or anywhere where there could be steam and water you just don't want it to like ruin your canvas so 
Again, something else, I have a tutorial. I'm not gonna get into it in this video. So if you are interested, like I said, just check the description below. But that was another really fun one and really cheap one because I got the canvas from the dollar shop. The other ones I personally haven't done, so I'm going to rapid fire through these amazing cute ideas that I saw on Etsy and I am purchasing. These adorable keychains, how cute. I've seen these all over the crafting groups. I've also seen spa kits and candles, coasters. I definitely have made coasters in the past. Again, I don't have photos of that, but it had like it was stained wood coasters that I made and then I sealed them and I put a mama bear on it and like papa bear and stuff like that. So those are ones that I made and again, I don't have photos of it, but coasters was a really fun one and a cheap one. Mother's Day balloons. So people are just customizing balloons with some vinyl and I thought that was a really cute idea. Etching. So people are etching vases and cups and mugs. So it's just glass etching. Essentially what you do is you take your vinyl stencil, you cut it out, you put it around whatever you're gonna be etching and then you buy this etching cream and you put it on top and then it makes this really cool design and effect on a cup. I'll put a picture here and I'm really interested in buying more of these because how stinking cute is this? In the past, I have definitely done some flowers. I actually planted seeds myself with my daughter and then by the time Mother's Day came around, they grew and then the pot themselves, we painted and put like vinyl on it. Again, I don't have a photo of that, so I'll put a photo here of a couple different Etsy shops that do offer it as well, but a super cute idea to personalize a little planter or a little planter pot and then actually putting a plant inside of it to give. I thought that was a really great gift idea. I have also seen something super popular that I personally haven't done but sell really well are those mother's day flower hanging basket wooden things i don't know the exact name of them but i'm going to put a picture right here how cute my mother would absolutely love this um so i definitely need to find a local seller or maybe this etsy shop right here and purchase it from them because it is absolutely beautiful but i have seen these so popular people are just putting like vinyl over top of it and just how cute are these? Like seriously, I'm in love. Another one that I have personally made but I don't have a photo of are garden tags. My mom loves to garden so I made some wooden little sticks and I put vinyl name tags so like tomatoes and then I put like a little picture of a tomato on there and then I sealed it with Mod Podge because it was going outside in the garden and she absolutely loved them. Now her garden has like these cute little things in them, wood stakes, and it says what each little plant is because when you're planting seeds, it's really hard to tell where each thing is. So that was a real fun one. Like I said, I don't have specific photos of the ones that I made, but these are some examples of other ones that were made. I have seen people making super cute makeup bags for their mamas or like canvas bags, um, the ones that you can bring to like the shop or whatever. Those are really adorable. I know grandmas would absolutely love that. Like if your mom or your grandma, they knit. For my daughter's great Oma, we made like a knitting bag a couple years ago for her out of a canvas bag because she does love to knit or crochet, I believe. And so that was another really fun idea that we tried out. Last but not least, faux leather earrings. These are a real popular one with the Cricut people right now. Um, faux leather, like those keychains I was talking about as well. And I've seen a lot of people getting their faux leather off of Amazon, so I wanted to bring that up to you as well. There's a lot of cute prints on Amazon, so if you're in lockdown right now and you can't quite go out to the shop maybe, depending where you live in the world, um, definitely check out Amazon because they had a lot of cute prints as well. But these faux leather earrings are a super cute idea for Mother's Day. Hopefully I gave you a few ideas. What are your go-to best sellers for Mother's Day or something that you are thinking about getting a mother in your life, any mother, any person in your life that you are celebrating this Mother's Day. As I mentioned before, anything that was not my own work, I did include the artist or the shop right here, so you can definitely check them out if it's not something that you particularly make, but you're interested in purchasing it from their Etsy shop. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.